The COVID-19 pandemic came dragging a sheer number of challenges. And so, when the corona vaccine was developed, many cooked different forms of disinformation and misinformation about the vaccines. Myths have been spread on various platforms, majorly social media, as well as orally all over Kenya. Leo, Jumamosi, nimepiga sindano yangu ya pili, AstraZeneca. Nilipo kwenda nkarudi nyumbani, mtoto wangu wakanambia fanya hivi baba, angalia mambo ni haya. Hii ni smaku, magnet. Nikifanya hapa kwa mwili wangu, wana mambo haya. Haya. Yashika smaku, yashika kwa mwili. Hapa ni podungwa sindano hapa. Mambo ni haya. Wazungwa chatutia maji, tahadharini, kuherini. Using open source intelligence, we look at some of the misinformation on what platforms they were circulating and some of the accounts involved in the circulation of the misinformation. So I decided to use a few of the tools including TweetDeck to try and monitor some of the disinformation that has been circulating on uh, Twitter specifically. And so I created several uh, columns. That is one is COVID uh, vaccine arrives in Kenya, COVID-19 Kenya and Corona Vaccine Kenya. And so I've had quite uh, a number of posts concerning the vaccine. And so looking here at the column uh, on Corona Vaccine Kenya, uh, I have a number of posts, just a few to highlight, like uh, this a particular person known as PDD. Uh, the post is, I love how Kenya called it vaccine apartheid. This corona vaccine is becoming a political tool of fight. It's what it is. Going down, let's look at another one. Uh, Domi Alvina here says that corona vaccine could be another mega scandal in the offing. In Kenya, we are used to scandals. We are some unscrupulous Kenyans in the name of entrepreneurs will capitalize on anything, including Kenyan lives. Some citizens give their views on national TV, like this individual who talked on a KTN News interview. Ichanjo inaleta shida mimi sana. Wengine wanasema ichanjo ikudungwa uwezi kuza. Watu wawezi kuza. Inaleta madhara mingi watu wanasema hivyo. I am back on a journey to demystify the myths by talking to citizens on the common misinformation and then engage a medical expert to debunk the rumors. We've heard some of them that the vaccine spreads the COVID and uh, some other things, but frankly, uh, from what our understanding is and the literature that we have seen through the MOH websites and everything, this is the best way to prevent the spread of the vaccine and the best way to protect the people even around us. Uh, the one I heard is that if you have any external disease, you might die if you take the vaccine and you can have a low infertility rate. Yeah, so I've heard about um, affecting fertility in women, um, affecting the menstrual cycle. I've also heard about um, blood clotting in some cases, about fears about dying. Yeah, those are some of the rumors that I've heard. I heard that we are going to die. For those ones who got the, uh, the first dose, even the second dose, we are going to die after two years. After sampling the most common myths, I engaged Dr. Nkware, the Director of Public Health Kisi County in Kenya, and the one who is in charge of the vaccination process within the county. One of the things that uh, I, as a director, have uh, encountered, even with senior officers or some of the people who at least are learned and able to read here and there, it is the blood clots and uh, the fact that uh, the West could be uh, aiming to reduce the African population. What was in the media, in social media, um, about uh, some uh, clients, especially in the developing, uh, developed countries that had already received uh, this vaccine, uh, that some of them had developed uh, blood clots. Uh, that was a big scare to many people. Uh, but uh, the European uh, uh, me Medicines Agency uh, did some uh, investigation and uh, they gave uh, the vaccine uh, a clean bill of health 
especially the AstraZeneca Oxford uh, type uh, that uh, we have in the country. And at least that um, gave us uh, some confidence. The Kisi County Executive Committee member in charge of health also got a chance to debunk some of the rumors. There are rumors like some people are going to die after two months eh, who have been vaccinated. But we have also been assured by the World Health Organization that there is nothing like that. So it depends on what people believe. But I'm sure our people are health-seeking behavior type of people. Since some religious leaders have had a divergent view about the vaccine, I'd say to reach out to the Legio Maria faction, whose faithfuls have a clear stand and claim to have a cure for the COVID-19 and dismiss the vaccine viability. Ose chango tuiche mange, kopo gureka ta corona apart from corona. Ose chango tuiche mange, wa believe ni kata nyacho bedi kato kimi. Kuo miye inge nigi mata mo nyasai onge, do manta diere. Ki believe adiri ni nyasai mane geta yako, corona tango enyim nyasai. When oti edo nwa corona ni kechi tuo mora mora, oko, oko atere ose pialwa ni yede gi mwati yogo to wacha ako. Nyaki kongi leem, yu enjo. Kibiro kanya kikungi leem. Ko kileem odongo chala chala kagimi tuo mopi. Ituo mopi. So all along we've gone through uh, a disinformation and the various techniques uh, that we can use to uh, verify information on social media. We've had experts explain, especially the medical experts explain and demystify the various rumors that we've had. And so today we are privileged uh, to have an IT expert on set who is going to enlighten us on how we can uh, verify the information that is going on on social media and a few tips perhaps that we can uh, use uh, to verify the information. Anything gets on social media may not always be true. So I think when you get information about COVID that you think is a bit weird. Like I told, I don't know, if you get COVID, you will, I don't know, have your head swelling. You may just want to pick this information and check with an expert. So I think everything has to do with us picking the content that you're seeing there and verifying it further with the content expert. Yes. And then you have so many, you know, uh, places available on that media that you can use to check that content. There is a tool in, in Facebook, if you log in, to ask you, do you want an information about COVID-19? It normally just pops up. You want to click that area. Just click that and get as much as you can about COVID-19. And then WHO has a, a lot of information for us. In fact, even contextualized to our country. If you want to go know about Kenya, the case of COVID-19 in Kenya, the case of COVID-19 in your region, your county, it's still available there. So just Google, go, go, go to WHO platform, click that equation to answer you. And then there's, there are even chat, chat boxes now available that will just, uh, will just post a question and responds to you. So it's much, much easier even if you're not, uh, you don't have much time to Google stuff, just go to WHO, post a question on it, then the chat just gonna respond to you and make it much, much, much easy. Get information from authenticated people, people that I can trust. And in fact, um, uh, and you know, people can have to do accounts. Let me think, let me just go into that. Like for example, you may have um, some people purporting to be WHO and then saying something which actually is all wrong and misleading about COVID-19 or about something else. So how will you know that this is not authentic? Social media now have ensured that they would have a badge or a blue tick to show that so-and-so or this user has been verified. So that's also another tool that can help you know that this uh, source of information is verified. So apart from the information itself, the source must be verified and authentic. And then you can now trust them the information that they're providing to you. COVID is real, families have lost people. We have seen how people are here on oxygen. We have, uh, you know, practical examples. Because before people used to think this COVID is just a story. Mm -hmm. But people have witnessed that whoever it catches, especially those with underlying conditions, is very tough. And some not even with underlying conditions have struggled for their lives. So those personal testimonies have convinced others to feel like if the vaccine will help, why not have it? 
A big conversation on the COVID-19 vaccine has sparkled on social media. A lot is said, much on the positive note, and yet a lot more on the flip side. Do you filter what to believe and what not to believe? We have given you a few tips on how you can sample social media content. And so the ball is in your court. Duncan Bundy for Africa Resilience Network from Kisi County in Kenya.